Good afternoon, everybody. This is April Ross, and we're broadcasting live from the Beehive. And I've got one of my great friends. I think he's a friend, right? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Quan Bray with me on today. And I've been in this young man's company. I can swear I can remember when you were at Troop High School. Right. And people kept talking about this young man, Quan Bray. And I had to scout you out. I said, who yeah. is he? I did that. <laughs> I, I had to bring him down here and get my first interview with him. And he was iced up then. And he iced up now. Oh, Stay good. iced up. <laughs> um, but today, um, they're saying, hey, Mr. Bray, hey, already. Um, but today, he is, uh, he's, he, I follow him from Callaway, mm -hmm. Troop High, right. Auburn, mm -hmm. your Auburn grad, yeah. went on to pro. And now you can add author behind your name, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. So, Quan, first of all, tell us what has your journey been like so far since since leaving Auburn? Um, journey. Uh, it's been a journey. You know, uh -huh. it's been a, a marathon. You know, uh -huh. Not a sprint, that, that, as they say, but uh, it's been it's been uh, it's been good. You know, it's been ups, it's been downs, but that's the life. You know, that's the life. You know, I can't even. You can't even feel no type of way about that because mm -hmm. it's life, you know. It's just on how you adapt to that. But um, it's been it's been actually uh, great, you know. Just learning experience from me, mm -hmm. growing, it's mm -hmm. been growing, you know. Just been growing, continue to learn mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So it's definitely been um, it's been a journey, and it's still continuing. Still continuing. Um, now keep the dream alive. Jaquan Bray. I read a little the introduction of the excerpt of your book and which you know in the book you people know your story because mm -hmm. it was in the headlines and we'll talk about that a little bit later on. Um, but when you when you decided on the title of this book, uh, why keep the dream alive? That, that actually was a hard thing to title, you know, was mm -hmm. to figure out what I wanted the title to be, but uh some just had clicked to me one day and was just like, um, keep the dream alive. You mm -hmm. know? Not even if it was for um, my mom or for myself or for whomever I wanted to be able to fit for anybody to you know, uh, relate to being able to keep the dream alive. Mm -hmm. to whatever dream that may be, you know, not even just uh, my dream was, you know, uh, being a professional and those type of things going on and become, you know, a great you know, a great man. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like I said, other people might have another dream, you know, mm -hmm. and that's why I just said keep the dream alive so it can relate to everybody and just not one specific, uh, mm -hmm. specific avenue. And you talked about um, the NFL mm -hmm. when, and, and you talked about the realness of it because we see all the glitz right. and glamour right. of it. Right. But please tell us a little bit about it. Uh, the NFL, you know, it's a cutthroat business. It's a business, uh, you know, um, you just got to go in and just, uh, expect the worst, you know. Uh, I went in. I ain't. I, I ain't really expect the worst. So I just went in and uh, just worked, and knowing that like uh, whatever I put in, you know, you gonna really get out though. So mm -hmm. because it's a business and it's people competing from all over the world, mm -hmm. top athletes, you know, it's just it's a uh, it's definitely it, it's a it's a business for sure, and mm -hmm. uh, like. It helped you mentally as well too. Mm -hmm. and it, it helped me mentally to, uh, you know, become, you know, a man faster than I had to become that too. Just playing the game. The game taught me more than just football. It mm -hmm. Taught me about life, you know. But mm -hmm. so uh, the first, the first, um, I would say, point in this book, the first chapter, from the mud. Mm -hmm. You titled it, it from the mud, but you talked about coming from Lagrange, mm -hmm. and then you talked about your family in Pine Mountain. Right. Um, and how have they been able to help you to get to be the man that you are? Uh, just off of the, um, you know, the way that we came, the way that they raised me, uh, the way that the, the things that I, you know, saw, been around, you know, those type of things that uh, just helped me to, to remain solid, you know, just because I've been um, brought up in that way to remain, you know, mm -hmm. solid ten toes, you know, because... You know, we ain't always had everything, you know, everybody, everybody got their story. Everybody come from different backgrounds and stuff. Right. But like I said, uh, you know, we made things happen. And like I said, um, it's just, uh, they just came together. Everybody just come together and just mm -hmm. helped me become and, and just stay, you know, as a family oriented. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the main woman in your life, your mom. Right. Um, and her picture is in this book. 
Um, and he says, this book is dedicated to my rock, my mama, Tanya Bray. Mama, I love you with everything in me, and I hope I'm making you proud. Do you feel like at this point in your life you're making her proud? Uh, I hope so. You know, uh -huh. I hope so, yeah. I'm not uh, done. You you're know, not done? Yeah, at this mm -hmm. point for sure. Because we done uh, checked off a lot of goals you know, that have been set since uh, uh, Pampers. Mm -hmm. you know, so, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> since the early years. Right, since the early tell us, years. Tell, right. us, tell us about those early years with, with your mom. Oh, um, just, I, I heard yeah. that she was always in yeah, the stands for, sure. for you. Yeah, yeah, number one fan. You know, uh, I don't think nobody right now can you know uh, be more than a fan than she was you know with the support and those type of things though mm -hmm. so she was definitely always the number one fan mm -hmm. for sure and she worked hard for yeah, you all yeah she did that she definitely did that she mm -hmm. was a um, hard working lady you know and that's that why they, I got that hard working mentality in me as well mm -hmm. so so um and and you dedicated this book to her so let's talk about because a lot of this stuff is in the book you all and we're going to make sure that you all please get your hands on this copy of this book i know a lot of you were asking how do we get the book um amazon you can order it from there but i know y'all want his signature in the book so he is planning a book signing that's going to be coming up right yeah, definitely coming soon book signing we'll get she will definitely get the date out to you yes sure. We'll make sure that we get that date out to you uh, on the book signing. Um, however, if you just want to go ahead and purchase your copy, it is on Amazon and you can get the copy of the book. Um, but let's talk about... We also got them too mm -hmm. on hand or whatever area. Oh, we got them on hand yeah, too. That's got, right. Yeah, we do yeah, have we got some. bundles and stuff like that. We got them on hand. Y'all just get in touch. Um, and we just get inbox me and we'll get with Nikki and we'll make sure that you all get a copy of the book. How much is the book? Oh, it's 25 the book is 25 so make sure you all go he'll sign it and and make sure that you all get the book now number four why is number four so significant to you yeah, so um number four man four go a long way you know uh, number four uh pine mountain from the four that's where i'm from that's you know that's our hood you know uh -huh. you know that just what we you know and they just stuck with me number four at auburn you know i went overseas here with montreal with number four you know that's just it's just four mean a lot. To uh -huh. us. It's just it's just not a number, you know. It's a uh, mm -hmm. it's really like it's significant a, yeah, to it's you. It's very significant. Mm -hmm. it's somewhat as a, a brotherhood, you know, a, a family. You know, mm -hmm. So definitely. So let's let's talk about because um, I know that you've lived your life um, in the media, um, mm -hmm. but of course I know that tragic happened to you, right. um, and that was in July. Um, take us back just for a little bit. Um, first of all, your relationship with your mom and dad. Y'all had a pretty good relationship, all of you all? Yeah, for sure. Growing yeah, everything, up? Yeah, everything was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how it seems supposed to be, for mm -hmm. sure. So, take us back to, um, or do you want to talk about that day? Uh, not necessarily, because the day is really It's right in the book. Yeah, yeah, I keep the dream so, alive. Uh -huh. you know, that day, you know, that day was just a day, you know. Uh, it was a regular day. Yeah, it was a regular day up until that point. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, got a few phone calls and stuff like that. The stuff was on the scene, you know, and that was one of the turning points in my life to just see somebody, you know, right there. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody so significant and at that point. So, you know, yeah, it was a turning point to make me become mm -hmm. who I need to become today. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure your emotions were tied because your daddy and right. then your mom. And yeah. for those of you who don't know um, Quan Bray's story, it is in this book um, that you're going to have to read. Um, but we're going to tell you, just share just a little bit about, um, first of all, have you had any contact with your father since? No. No, no contact? No, not at all. No, no, no. Do you choose to do, Maybe do one so? Day, yeah. Maybe one? Yeah. You're open, though. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. right now, you had no contact with right. him. Okay. And what about with um, his family, your grandmother? Yeah, you talked right about now. your grandmother in the beginning. Then, yeah, she, they don't got nothing to do with none of that. You know, they're that, my family. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and so y'all still grandma. keep? Yeah, of course. Keep, yeah, yeah. keep close. That's where I'm at. That's where we know where I'm from. You know, that's the mm -hmm. family. That's the family. So what about, because I met your mom's mom. Right. And, and she's really had always had a hand mm -hmm. on on your upbringing and making sure that you were straying after your mom's passing, right. um, that she um, paid, played a significant role in your 
go on your journey going to Auburn. Mm-hmm. What was that like? Um, uh, I always been close to my grandma. That you know that one anyway. Like you said, uh, her daughter. She lost a daughter. You know, uh, but just seeing her strength. You know, to uh, continue to raise uh, me and my younger brother. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just was tremendous, and it was uh, something good for me to see, you know, from, you know, somebody that I was already close to, too, so I didn't have a choice but to uh, remain, you know, sorry mm-hmm. for her and for my younger brother. Mm-hmm. After the tragedy happened with your mom, how were, how were you able to mentally prepare yourself to go to the next level, to Auburn? Because mm-hmm. that was your next level. Right. She's always been there with you. Mm-hmm. Um, and then that happened, and then, but your next step was I go to Auburn. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How did you prepare yourself mentally during those times? Um, just knowing. Uh, like I said, that time was sometimes I was mentally together. Sometimes I was mentally, you know, off track. It, it, it is what it is. You know, I, I'm not perfect. You know, none of us perfect. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm young. I was learning. You know, I, like I said, I was learning. And uh, mentally, me just working, uh, working, work hard work. You know, that's mm-hmm. in Auburn Creed. And, I just uh, took that mentality of knowing what she wanted me to do and knowing that she wanted me to keep going and mm-hmm. keep the dream alive. You mm-hmm. know, and that's why, you know. Uh, that was how you were able right. to prepare yeah, yourself yeah, to make Work, sure to that be, you. Yeah, become the best person. Because you knew what you mm-hmm. all had talked about. What were some right. of those things that you had all had talked about privately? I mean, after you signed that I'm going to Auburn, what were those conversations were with your mom? I was just um, like try to stay on the right track. You know, uh, academically wise, she was always big on that, which you know, um, I, I I see why, you know, but because that that uh, I graduated, you know, you did the, the get form, that degree, yeah, yeah, I did you that. did yeah, get that degree. Yeah, can't nobody take that away from me, you right? Know what I mean? so, and that was important to you, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, because mm-hmm. you know, a lot of, uh, I mean, they try to statistically, you know, um, people don't really uh, make it that far, right? You know, and, uh, they just, just go for the ball. Yeah, yeah they just go for a ball, you know. Uh-huh. I we we I'm really bigger than just a ball, you know. It's more than just an athlete. He bigger you know. than a ball, y'all. Yeah, yeah, definitely that though. Make you know, sure y'all we, get the book. Uh-huh. Know, for sure. Um but me working, that was my mentality. Mm-hmm. So that first year going into Auburn though, how was it when you didn't see her in the stands? Your first time playing and yeah. she wasn't there. It was just a different feel, like a little empty feel at the moment, you know. Uh but yeah, like she was still there, you know, you know, a spirit for sure. But yeah, it was just a different feel. Mhm. Right. Mhm. So, what do you want to tell people about Quan Bray right now, the man? Um, Quan Bray right now, the man. Mhm. Um, oh man. And what are you working on? What am I working on? Right. Right now, we're working on this. this author. Yeah, this uh-huh. right here. We're working on this to get uh-huh. the book signed out. Uh, I, I got a foundation as well. Right. Anybody want to donate for it because the donation will be going towards the books to put out to uh, younger kids around the areas in the schools. That's the next thing as well, too. I'm trying to get them in the schools and stuff like that. Uh, tours, book tours, and those type of things. Uh, we got a lot of things in, uh, uh, up to par, though. Right. For sure that, and your foundation has done a yeah, lot for yeah, the community. Correct. Right. Because right, right. I know you do a lot in Pine Mountain, yeah, right, yeah. where your roots are, and in LaGrange. Right. Which we get some things set up as, as you know, we talking today. Mm-hmm. More things, more dates to come, you know, for for uh, for the community, for sure. Just to, uh, you know, show my show my uh, love and things mm-hmm. that I do. Because yeah, sure. a lot of people are rooting for you. Yeah. Um, they know your story, and they uh, and but y'all really know all the in depth when you got when you buy the book. And he is going to have a book signing, but we do have if you want some pre prior to the book signing, we do have some on hand. Yeah. Inbox me, and we'll tell you how to get the copy of Keep the Dream Alive. You get it on hand, and he's going to sign it for twenty five dollars. Um, his story is uh, is one of hope, um, and I can remember when when the tragedy happened with your mom and how people were saying she's going to have the biggest um the biggest view of mm-hmm. watching you right. you know she was watching you from the stands but she was watching you from heaven right do you oftentimes feel her presence yeah 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 of course mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. 
That's who brought me here. Uh -huh. I got to feel that. Uh -huh. I got to feel that presence for sure. Mm -hmm. So in making, so now your your brother Jamir mm -hmm. is bad <laughs> at Callaway, and I mean bad in a good way on the field. Uh, I didn't know he was your brother, and I was filming mm -hmm. that that catch, and then I'm like, when you said, "Can I get that footage?" and I'm like, "Is this yeah, this yeah, can't I be his him. brother?" Yeah, yeah. That yeah, was him. Yeah, yeah. So, so what kind of advice have you been giving Jameer as he goes towards trying Ooh. to get to the next level? Uh, just um, remain focused. You know, uh, separate yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, separate yourself because uh, you know you are different in a way because you're different in the mentality that you have from whomever you surround yourself around. And I just try to uh, just t t tell tell him, you know, whatever you get, you have to work for it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's given, you know, to anybody, you know, mm -hmm. which he knows that. And like I said, I know that too. Though I just try to, you know, show him that uh, it's it's different than uh, just uh, Lagrange or the Rhinos or area. It's something. Mm -hmm. It's way more. You know, it's that's all I tell him. It's way more all the mm -hmm. time. And if you, you know, if you just, uh, if you can't understand that from that point of just seeing, you just have to see outside the box. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm um, so you're, you're his older brother and now I'm sure you had to step into another role with him. Right. How was that? What, what was your conversation with Jameer? Um, just, um, especially when you had to leave him and go to college Yeah. at this difficult time. I just had to be an example from, from, from far, you know, I just, that's what I'm saying. I couldn't, I couldn't like keep getting off track. You know, I, I had to discipline myself, you know, I had to. That like made a lot of things change for me. You know, right. I had to become, I had to sacrifice. It was not, it wasn't about me. You know, it wasn't. Maybe one point in time, yeah, it was about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But once things happened like that, then now I had to relate to who I need, who's on my back, who's looking up to me. So that's really why I tried to, like I said, I ain't perfect. I try to do, I try to do the thing to show him. You know to get away you got to go or not mm -hmm. and that's all i can do you know mm -hmm. and, and, and. does he ever talk about your mom with you do you in y'all quiet time oh uh, no nah, we don't really no, y'all don't really discuss it really does he have a relationship with your father i mean i don't get into you don't get in, yeah. into it mm -hmm. i can't really yeah okay that's understandable um again the book is called keep the dream alive mm -hmm. Uh, with Quan Bray. He has written this book. Mm -hmm. The book is $25. Y'all, we've been rooting for this young man. Um, appreciate that too. We have. And yeah, I, I you know me. I'm always following yeah. I'm always popping up at Callaway, wherever Nika say you at. I'm yeah, popping you, up. You um, and, and we want to support him in getting this book. Um, now, he's going to have a book signing coming. That's my friend Sean Mitchell on. Um, he's going to have a book signing that's going to be coming up. So I'm going to keep you all informed of when the book signing is going to happen. The book is $25 if you want him to put that signature on it. And I know you do because we do want to support his cause. Um, and tell us about the foundation right quick. Um, Cornbread, the QPAP, Cornbread All Purpose Foundation was uh, set uh, two, three years ago. Um, and, 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 that, and I put that foundation together just for... Uh, the kids uh, that's with less fortunate uh, that seem to not thinking that uh, the that, dream yeah, is not alive. Right, right. They've right. been through, we've been through tragedies in their life. Right. They feel like uh, it's over with at that mm -hmm. point in time, but it's not. And mm -hmm. that's why I felt like I want to put me a foundation together so I can do things mm -hmm. in the community around wherever for those kids that feel like. Oh, a tragedy happened early in my life. It's over now. It's not over, you know, because you still have however much longer you need to live. You still have that to become whatever you need to become on mm -hmm. whatever dream it is you had before the tragedy. Or you, or you know, what I'm saying you keep and remain that same dream after mm -hmm. the tragedy. Mm -hmm. so that's because why. when the tragedy happened, you couldn't, you didn't get right. stuck. Right, exactly. And I felt like I wanted to put something together for that reason, and uh, that's why I came about to. Put the Cornbread All Purpose Foundation together. What do you want people to know about your mom? Uh, just a beautiful smile, great energy. You know, I go, I'm, I'm off of energy and vibe, so I feel that instantly. I'm from around you, you mm -hmm. know, for your presence. Like I can, I feel that, and, and, and that's what it is energy and vibe. Energy and vibes energy is what she was vibe. all about. Energy and vibe. I, really? Yeah. What was y'all last conversation? Um, last conversation was just 
Probably come home. Come home. Yeah, not really. Uh huh. Yeah. She was telling you to come home. Yeah. Really. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Wow. Okay. Well, you all make sure you all get this book. Keep the dream alive. Uh, with Jaquan Bright. It is on Amazon, but however, you got to go buy it. You got to get it because this, this is a warm story, you all. And I'm gonna, just going to read the excerpt on the back. It says, Quan Bright is an American dream birth from an American nightmare. That's what you feel like it was? A mm -hmm. nightmare. Mm -hmm. uh, most young men want to buy their mother a house and retire her from her job. Quan's mother was shot and killed by his father a day before he was set to report to football camp for the Auburn Tigers. Uh, Quan carried the burden of, of loss on his shoulders and it fueled him to strive for greatness. This book is the part of his story that tells about his journey to the NFL. For anyone with a dream, this book is sure to inspire you to keep the dream alive. Yeah. Keep wow. the dream alive. Keep the dream alive. Um, so make sure that you all go out and get this book. You can get it on Amazon, but Juan does have them on hand. Um, you can inbox myself if you want the book. Again, it is Keep the Dream Alive. And he talks in depth because we wouldn't want to tell you all so much of what uh, was in the book because we want you all to read the book. I, tell, I, tell, I might just tell you like the content. Yeah, yeah, give, yeah, give us some chapters. content. For the first chapter is like from the mud. Uh huh. You know, the second chapter is, is have a vision. Let's talk about have the have, have a vision. A vision right? Yeah, because this is twenty twenty and right. everybody's talking about the vision. vision right? Hey, and then you See? you just set that off real quick, right? Just on you know. The, uh huh. So you gotta be, mentally right. still have your vision. You gotta, you gotta be gotta focused. Have a you okay. Gotta have a vision. Mm -hmm. And number three is a start in the making. Mm hmm. And then I'm going to leave y'all with this one because I'm going to just let you Oh, my God. I like that one. I know you don't. I'm going to leave it with them. I like this one. You this can't one leave us. Part, number four, Le listen to your elders. Let's talk about listen that. Listen. Now, what, why was it so important for you to put... That ain't cool to tell these people to listen to their yeah, elders. Everybody want to be cool these days. Uh -huh. we, uh, why why yeah. is it important for people to listen to the because that's that's the knowledge, that's the wisdom. They done been, they done did it, you know. So, mm. um, and they wouldn't want nothing bad for you. You mm. know, they only want you to they succeed. They don't know what we, yeah, they, yeah. but they, they can't relate. That's what they said. They can't, can't relate, relate to me. They can't. They don't know. Sure, they Things done change now. Yeah, yeah, see, see. But you're telling them. And how old are you now? I'm 26. 26, 26 years 26. old. Telling yeah. them to listen to their elders, Jakari. But anyway, <laughs> that's what you say, right? Right. right. Because they do. At the no. end of the day. It's yeah. a lot of wisdom yeah. and knowledge, yeah. right? Yeah. That's and then you say work on your craft. Work on your craft. Right. Your craft. And that's what a lot of people miss because they think something's some going to be handed uh, to them. Because I'm sure when you went from, of course, you graduated from Truth. Mm -hmm. And then when you started that training at Auburn, mm -hmm. what was it like? It was different. It was totally different. It was like, oh my God. It was, it was totally different. Uh -huh. you know, I know I had to... Um, Propel my training, you know, I had I had to elevate it to, to a different level. Mm, and then I'm sure when you graduated from Auburn and then went to the NFL, mm, right. you were like, this is a whole nother monster. Yeah, it's a whole nother monster, a whole nother ball game, speed, different, everything. So it was, I know if I didn't work on my craft, it would uh, I wouldn't have got to where I was at. I wouldn't have been prepared once I got there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you said, do you. Do you. Why we need to do us. Cause you, you don't. don't uh huh. Know about what I can't do what nobody else doing, uh -huh. right? That's what we fall in place because we think we can do what you doing, right. but I need to do me. Exactly. I need to do BTV. <laughs> I can't do the ball, right? BTV. I, I can't do. I, I'm not an author, so I'm, I'm, I'm in my lane. A cold summer. Cold summer. What's the cold summer about? Cold summer. That's the cold summer, you know. Mm -hmm. Tragedy. That's that's where that's it happened at right there. Yeah. Chapter step. Chapter seven. You all. Chapter seven yeah, is a cold, cold summer. a cold summer. Cold summer, yeah. Mm. Summer used to be hot, but it's you know. But it turned cold it real hot. quick. Okay, and a pain and promise. Pain and promise. Mm -hmm. Just like love is pain, you know. Pain is love. You mm -hmm. know? I got that tatted on me, you know. That, you do. That's, that's for you know. Uh -huh. No matter what you love, no matter you know if it's pain, it's gonna be painful regardless. 
if you're going through some some type of love, not even mm-hmm. love or in a relationship. Say you love BTV. Right. Right. BTV can be painful to you sometimes. It is. Right. It uh-huh. Is. It, it is. You know, know, it is. You uh-huh. It, you know, that just... You know, then that's why I got that from. You know? Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. I, I know about that yeah, pain. Yeah, yeah, I got exactly. you, you made it relatable right. to yeah, me because yeah, it be painful yeah. sometimes exactly. when people think that it's looking good. It's it painful exactly. sometimes. Exactly. Uh, it takes a village. Right. Mm. It takes a village. Like I told you earlier, like, like the four more than me, you know, I know I got a lot of people down there behind me, a village, you know, behind me. You know, I got, mm-hmm. I know, like I said, I can't do everything on my own. You know, I got... My, my cousins and stuff like that, that helped me on things. You know, I can't really do everything mm-hmm. myself. You know? mm-hmm. It takes a lot of it people lot, yeah. to make it work. Uh, Mama, I made it. I love that. Mama, I made it. Mm-hmm. Speak for herself. It speaks for itself. Speaks for itself. You herself. want her to know yes, that she did a great job. Yes, and she's and, and within with your brother. So so now that your brother is at a point, he's doing really well. What what yeah. what, what what is he a senior? Yeah, it is. Yeah, same. Yeah, okay, yeah. so what what has been your advice to Jameer going into the senior year? You know, people are gonna be looking at him. What's been your advice to him? Um, just um, like I said, remain, remain. I'm gonna just keep working. Like I said, uh, don't listen to the outside. Keep working. Everything will pan out. Uh, everything will pan out how it's supposed to pan out. Just continue to keep positive energy, positive mm-hmm. energy, and just continue to finish out, finish school, finish. Mm-hmm. School. Finish out the schoolwork. You know, mm-hmm. Do good on the test. Mm-hmm. Get that degree. Yeah, yeah. and everything. Right, because it was important for you to get yeah. your degree. Yeah. You didn't yeah. just you didn't just go to the NFL. You made sure that you had that degree oh, yeah. before you left right. yeah. Auburn. Yeah, I graduated early three. Yeah, I, graduated I know, three. real early. I was like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Took me five years. <laughs> yeah, that, and, that, and that was my goal when I got uh-huh. there. I sat down with the council. I was like, "Hey, I want to graduate. I want to graduate in three and a half years." You know. So um, you knew yeah, going in, you had, in. Had, the I mean, I had the vision. Had the vision. I really did have that vision. I told the people that what I wanted to do. You know. Uh, and they said three know, and a half years. Yeah. You want to graduate? Right. And what you say? That's what I want to do. I said, I, you know, I want to be a statistic, great statistic. You know, a great yeah, statistic. I would be the odds, you know. Yeah. To come out where I come from, you'd be the odds. You know what I mean? Right. And that what we, you know, that's the only thing we putting out. We trying to continue to help beat the odds. You know, right. we want to, we want to have higher statistics in greater, in greater categories. Greater categories. So before we let you go, though, what what is Quan Bray's 2020 vision. 2020 though. vision locked yes. in on keep inspiring and, and keep becoming the greatest man that I can become so I can put out that energy for those who are behind me or, or looking up to me or mm-hmm. or you know just with me. You know right. I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to elevate everybody around me mm-hmm. while elevating myself. I love it. I love it. You're trying to make sure that they get where they going. Yeah, they doing going. them. Exactly. Right. In the mm-hmm. right way. In the right way. Yes. So mm-hmm. you all, we want you to go get this book. Check Keep the dream alive. Do you take that speaking sounds, engagements? Oh, yeah. Speaking engagement. We up for all that. You know, uh-huh. we, we up for all that. Get in contact. Right. That's the next thing. That's what we, that's what the next level that we're going to take with this, you know, while I'm here, while I'm around. Like I said, I was in Montreal. Right. This How long will you be here? Because I, I don't be knowing when you <laughs> You be in and out. Me and Nick can be scared. Like, oh, he might book up on us. Yeah, yeah. Nah, uh, I'll be around for You'll a few be months. Yeah. For a few months. Yeah, so we want to make sure that you all, I'll tell you all when the book signing is going to happen. Um, because we want to make sure that you all flood the the venue and where he's going to be to do yeah. this book signing. Uh, keep the dream the dream alive. Man. Um, and, and you have certainly done that and doing it yeah. and doing it so, quite well. Is there anything else that you want to say to our viewers today? I appreciate BTV right now for having me. Oh, no problem. I appreciate you for accepting the invitation, I yeah, tell you, because sure. you didn't have no choice. Nika was going to get all over you. <laughs> right. uh, but we appreciate you guys are watching. Uh, thank you so much, Miss Tammy Stevens. Uh, but make sure that you all please share out this broadcast. Uh, this young man has been through a lot, but he is still standing. When we think yeah. that, how am I going to rebound from this? I mean, he has a real tragedy that has happened, but it's in the book. Mm-hmm. Don't go all the way to chapter seven, then back up, yeah. read it from start to finish. 
and then you'll follow his journey within the book. So make sure that you guys do this and please share out the broadcast because we like to highlight people who are doing great things. We share out a lot of other stuff, but this is one thing that we want to share out that even through tragedy, through any situation, you can still bounce back. You can still make it only if you keep the dream alive. Make sure you guys go out and get this copy of this book. Uh, Fred Stanley, you know Fred Stanley, Pastor Stanley? He said, awesome job, Quan. Yes, sir. That's right. Yes, sir. Uh, he, he's doing amazing things over there at uh, Long Cane as well. To hustle and motivate, baby. Hustle and, hustle and, motivate. Hustle and motivate, baby. Yeah. That's what. That's right. And if y'all want him for your uh, Youth Sunday to come in and, and inspire your youth, please get in contact with him. He, he I'm telling you, he, he can, he'll say, I do it. Y'all just hook me up, come on down, and he'll sell a couple of these too. Why right now? They're right. That's how we do it. Um, but make sure y'all go and pick up the book for me. Keep the dream alive, Jaquan Bray. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, this is April Ross broadcasting live from the Beehive.